Hi, um, one of my favorite films of yours is Autumn Sonata, and I just wanted to ask, how was it like working with Ingrid Bergman? Oh, I, I loved working with Ing Ingrid Bergman. I, I used to sit on the floor and watch her, not because, yeah, I, I, I really admired her as an actress, but the way she was at the woman, as a woman, the way she answered Ingmar, you know, she's the only one that, you know, questioned him and <laughs> <laughs> did things like that. I don't have time for a story, do I? Yeah, go ahead. Have you all heard it? We have all the time in the world for you. Huh? <laughs> go for it. You, you maybe have heard it before, but it's my favorite story about uh, Ingrid Bergman because already from the reading, you know, uh, she would say, but she can't say this, Ingmar, can't, can't she say it very differently? And he got so upset, really <laughs> got upset. And when the reading was over, he was uh, so upset, he thought he wanted to cancel the movie, but he, he <laughs> didn't. But they never really became the best of friends. And in his book, he writes about the two. And the big thing was in Autumn Sonata, when I, the daughter, you know, I say to my mother, because she's a pianist and she travels the world to be a pianist. Ingmar wrote this, who traveled the world himself, but it was a woman, so that wasn't so good. So I tell the mother how you have ruined my life. I'm 40 years old and look at me, I'm terrible, my life, and it's all your fault. I have three pages of monologue and the mother is just to stand there and listen and listen and listen. And when I read that in the script, I thought, oh, if I get to do it, I will be so moving because the mother's answer was, please hold around me, please love me. And I thought, oh, I would say that beautifully. Now we do it with Ingrid Bergman. So three pages of monologue, I tell her what a horrible, horrible mother she's been. You've ruined my life. Look at me, 40 years old. I'm nothing because of you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So finish with that. And I thought I was marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> Here is an Oscar. And then, <laughs> and then we turn the camera and it is on... Uh, her. And she said, I'm not going to say that. I want to smack her in the face and leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and Ingmar went like this and he screamed and she screamed and finally the screaming, they went out in the corridor. <laughs> and we, we heard the screaming. We knew now the movie's over. Now it's really <laughs> over. <laughs> and then it became quiet and in they come, the genius and Ingrid. <laughs> and Turn the camera, she says her lines, please hold around me, please love me. But on her face is the face of every woman in this world who have said, I am sorry, yes, I will do this. And the anger, I have to say this again, the anger being forced to say, I am sorry that I did another thing because I'm a woman, specifically to the child. And she was fantastic. And she, of course, was nominated for an Oscar. I was not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I admired her because she told the truth when truth was needed. And I'm Nora in the doll's house. I still dance around. <laughs>